The retention project manifests itself through three specific college student to youth mentoring programs. Those three programs are GAME, Project Eye to Eye, and Connections. Each of these programs is very different, but each one has the goal of making college a viable option for local kids in the Spokane public school system. Connections is a one-on-one -on -one mentoring program with local Spokane middle schools. So on a typical day of Connections, we start off with an icebreaker with both the mentors and the mentees. Afterwards, we do a group activity, which typically is fun, but then we have a second one after that's typically involving academics. After that, we go into snack, and it becomes social time. And we group it up after social time and break into homework groups. And during homework groups, we not only do homework, but we try to spark conversations involving college and what they want to do potentially in their life. We like to talk about careers and what innovations these kids have. And we want to bring those into the bigger picture and make them look realistic to these kids. Okay, so GAME is a middle school group mentoring program with about 15 mentors and I think we have about 25 mentees now at, at Gary. Um, there's three middle schools, Gary, Glover, and Shaw that we all go to once a week. And um, basically a typical day we go in and we have like a family meal with the kids with a couple of our mentors and then we trickle into the gym and start an energizer activity by um, just like trying to get some energy out of the kids and then we'll do like a name game or a, an interaction where the kids have an opportunity to talk to our mentors and the goal of our mentors is to um, try and try and get these kids to realize that they really they can reach college if they want they can get through high school some of these kids you know maybe won't even get through high school but our goal is to show them that they really have the capabilities to get through um, also we make sure that we have a lot of fun games so these kids are like in the activities but we also have the homework program on the side if kids decide that they're either struggling in school or just need a little extra help our mentors are very class are very able at helping them with their if for any sort of tutoring that they need um, but yeah we really just we're there have fun have a fun time and be there for our mentees so that's good. <laughs> So Project Eye to Eye is actually a national nonprofit that advocates for people with learning disabilities. Um, on the university level, we take a group of college students who all have learning disabilities, so ADHD, dyslexia, dysgraphia, anything in that realm, and we meet up with students of a similar demographic. So for example, I'm a male with ADHD. My mentee would be also another male who also has ADHD. So um, we meet with them once a week, and we do art projects to facilitate a conversation about our learning disabilities. Um, one example I tell pretty often is, um, last year I was a mentor, and my mentor's name was Arthur. So uh, we do art projects, so one of the art projects was the Invention Project. So our coordinator said, you know, if you could make anything that helped you out in school, what would you make? So, you know, Arthur started thinking, and it was one of the first days, so I didn't want it to be awkward with Arthur. So I was like, hey, so Arthur, you know, what are you, what are you thinking of making? He's like, uh, don't worry about it, I got it. So, Arthur starts running, he grabs like, you know, he's grabbing construction paper, like, uh, pipe cleaners, all this stuff. And I'm like, um, okay, so you want to, you know, you want to tell me what you're making? I want to look good in front of the coordinators, you know, I'm being a good mentor. And um, so he just starts making, he's like, no, 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 I'll tell you when I'm done, I'll tell you when I'm done. And so and when he finishes, he hands it to me, and it looks like a remote. He said, okay, you know, Arthur, I know you like watching TV, and that's cool, but it doesn't really help you in school. Like, oh, let's make something that helps you in school. He said, no, 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 this will, this will help. I was like... I was like, okay, like, you know, how, how is this going to help? He's like, well, it's a classroom remote. I was like, well, Arthur, what does that mean? He's like, so, like, so, well, you know, when I'm in the class, I get distracted all the time. And then, you know, I zone out. So I miss things, like, you know. And his biggest problem was missing, like, the classroom assignments at the end of class. So he said, well, with this classroom remote, I could rewind the class and play again so that everything I missed I could go back to. He said, you know, Arthur, that's great. That's such a good idea. Um, but actually, you know what you could do? You could actually bring a recorder to class that records the lectures. And so, after the lectures recorded, he could go back and rewind and like look to see what the teacher had said, if he goes home and he forgets. And this actually helped him a lot because at the end of the class, you know, he'd be thinking about going home, playing football, 
in the, or whatever it may be and not paying attention so he just rewind that little bit and find his assignment. That's what Project Eye to Eye does. So, and the great thing is that because all our mentors have, um, and mentees have the same learning disability, they really can see eye to eye and they know what struggles each other are going through. Um, so that's the great part about eye to eye and I think it's, uh, it's going to be great when we move to another chapter in the Washington area next year.